In this video, I will explain how to set up the CX350 for SRT streaming, specifically listener mode. SRT stands for Secure Reliable Transport. SRT is an open source video transport protocol that optimizes video streaming performance across unmanaged networks, such as the internet. In addition, SRT also supports encryption using AES, so the streaming can be secure. In the case of listener mode, the receiver pulls SRT streaming from the camera. So the receiver needs to know the IP address and port number of the camera. As you can see in the diagram, in this video, I set up the receiver to pull the SRT streaming from the camera via the internet. The public IP address 100.100.100.35, the private IP address 192.168, dot one dot one seven seven and the port number 2020 are examples. Just as a side note, in this configuration I set port forwarding on the camera side's router. More specifically, the router in the camera side's network forwards the commands that come to port 2020 to the camera which has a private IP address 192.168.1.177. The first step is configuring the network setting. CX350 supports a variety of connection types. In this video, I will show you how to set up with an Ethernet cable. Please watch my other videos for other connection types. Connect an Ethernet cable to the camera. Open Menu, Network, Device Select, and select LAN. LAN Property, IPv4 Setting. With DHCP Client, the network automatically signs an IP address to the camera, and this is an easy way to configure the IP address. When you close Menu, you should be able to see the wired connection icon on the top right of the screen. As I said, DHCP allows the network to assign an IP address to the camera automatically. Let's check it. As you can see, the IP address 192.168.1.177 was assigned to the camera. The next step is the SRT setting. Open Menu, Network, Network Function, and select Streaming. From the Streaming menu, set the Streaming Protocol to SRT Listener. You can select a streaming format from a variety of choices. In this video, I chose 1080 14 Mega BPS. SRT Setting. With Listener Mode, the receiver pulls the streaming from the camera, so the camera does not need to know the destination URL, hence the menu is grayed out. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, SRT supports AES encryption. You can enable it here. You need to input a passphrase in order to decrypt the streaming. The same passphrase needs to be set in the receiver as well. When you close menu, you should be able to see the streaming icon on the top right of the screen. Although you do not need to set the SRT URL to the camera in listener mode, you do need to set it to the receiver. The URL supports both IP address and domain name. The URL rule for SRT is SRT colon slash slash camera IP address colon camera port number or SRT colon slash slash domain name colon camera port number. Lastly, let's pull the SRT streaming to the internet. The left side of the screen shows the SDI out from the CX350, and the right side shows the SRT streaming. As you can see, the SRT is slightly delayed from the SDI out. That's expected, but it's still pretty stable. Remember, I set the bitrate to 14 mega BPS. 
And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check the other videos for CX350's different streaming capabilities.